All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the RGA Dynasty, part 76. Let's get right back into it. <clears throat> and with our next war finished, we will be over 1,900 counties and counting. I still need India to figure itself out. This place is an absolute mess. At least this will split three ways when this guy passes on. Not super soon, but... That'll split eventually. Um, the Samanid actually looks pretty nice, to be honest. You can take most of that in one go. <clears throat> but we got a couple wars we can declare, and if we ever have like a time where it's just super awkward across the board, we'll finally go and take Eastland over here. Okay. Let's do this thing. Let's get right back to it. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I'll never stop clearing my throat. God dang it. There we go. Okay. Make it so. In 29 days, we make our move. Scheme discovered. Antonio, okay. Captain Simsom. Whatever that's all about. But, meanwhile, we await um, the Mongolians. Kyriak has come of age, and it's time she left my care. A natural administrator from birth, it's surprised no one that Kyriak has come far in her studies of the management of the realm. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, she seems capable of predicting it as if by instinct. She always finds new ways of profiting off it, too. She's Midas touched. That's our girl. That's our granddaughter. 26 stewardship at 16 years of age. That's what we're talking about. She's doing an excellent job. Excellent job. Mayor Irene, thank you. Mayor Constantine, thank you. Province of Caledonia. The borders of Rome have now advanced well beyond the ancient ruins of both Hadrian's Wall and the Antonine Wall to at, to at last include all of Caledonia. This is hard and unforgiving land. It is the home of a peculiar breed of people, but they will be turned into productive Roman citizens yet. Long live the Empire. Wow, that's one of the less flattering messages we've got so far. <clears throat> Captain Alphonse, Mayor Sebastianos, another faction has given up. They're giving up left and right. They know the deal. They know the score. What's going on? Why were you glowing? Mayor Basporios, Mayor Philotheos. Over the Roman Empire, your vassal despot Procopius has insulted me gravely. He had the audacity to name me a cocky cur in front of my court. I demand satisfaction for the slight. <clears throat> We're just, so this would make us happy. Procopius will uh, plead for your forgiveness, apparently. Sorry, uh, Procopius. I don't know. Maybe he had it coming, but we need that stress loss. We we leave us we live a stressful life as high priest Petros. He struggles with things for sure. All right, that's one war down. <clears throat> Mayor Kalan Khan. Okay, organized march. Got to get that army movement speed. That's so, so good. Probably should have taken it even earlier, to be honest. Wait. The Bulanid have other lands. No! They also have a county up there. Damn it! That's all right. Attacker war score will go up there. <laughs> I arrive at my back of my Castrana for a long, lonely walk. So we're about to have a surprise birthday at 63 years of age. And Paranoid gains unpredictable for five years. No one ever knows how this character will react. What's the quickest escape? Repel from the window. <clears throat> we have to take 165 stress to go to our surprise birthday party? Hello? Wow! High Priest Petros is actually insane. Unpredictable it is, I guess. We, we missed our surprise birthday party. Damn. That's savage. That's so tough, actually. What a bummer.
That is actually a huge bummer. Alright, Siege 1. Let's go take the capital and then that war is over. And then we can go hit the capital up there. Maybe even get a battle in, we'll see. She's pregnant again! Wow! Okay, we got a new insurgency of uh, Old Helenit. Let's fight it off. Romaine, welcome back. Ooh, 94. Because our learning's not very good. Hold up, hold up. Let, let's let the heresy go up a little bit more. Watch this. Nope, not that one. Mayor Isidoros, Baron Focoli, Baron Mayor Evangelos. Watch. Okay, there. A snake at court. More people trying to cheat. Fantastic. Now that another heresy happened, our fervor went higher, so now she'll accept. Yeah, playing the game. That's something I thought about doing last time. Welcome back to Hellenism. You too, both of you. The true faith. Baron Idwilin. A new alliance. Blessed be Zeus. Blessed be Zeus. Permia, huh? Okay. Good luck with your new alliance. I don't think it'll result in much. I think at the end of the day, you're still screwed. Countess Maria, welcome back to the true faith. Repay loan. I took out a loan? Send back the money. Apparently, we had a loan to repay. 450 is not that bad. I mean, we, we gained that like nothing, but weird that we had that. <clears throat> Blessed be Zeus. Fervor's at 72. Gyalpo is lost against Gyalpo Gaden. Oh. Mm. 66 counties! Kamarupa! Bro! This guy lost! For the Gyalpo of Amdo. Damn, he just lost all of that? I, or, no, he must have been attacking it and lost the attack. Got it. Got it. Reeve Wolfmare. AI is not very good at attacking places, to be fair. It's much better at defending locations. And even then, it's not that incredible at it. So be it. Ooh, an inspiration on Himerios. Wants to capture nature's beauty. Uh, is he good? He's very competent. Sure. We'll give it to him for 50 gold. Why not? Probably pointless, but... Don't know until you try. <clears throat> yeah, they're still not coming back to take this. Bull and are just kind of letting this happen here. Mayor Michael. Mayor Eudokia. Independence faction disbanded. Mayor Methodios. Not many factions left. At least not worth not worth anything. Mayor Eliodora, thank you. Mayor Jacob, thank you. He's a Toros being targeted again. Non-stop this man. He never stops being a target. Alright, go win a battle right there in 30 days, and that'll be the rest of the war score we need. Mayor Damianos. Mayor Dinesia. Kyriak's a better leader. Have her do it. A vassal to remember. We don't need them to like us more. Uh, dedications are overrated. Yep. Give us that piety. Gotta get it. Gotta have it. Gotta get it. Alright. <laughs> Farewell, guys. You're doomed. <clears throat> a new holy order has been founded again. I mean, humans rot in your living body. Alright, what's this build? Holy order. Oh, my bad. It's at a thousand right now. It's not much, but it exists. Eight to thirty-three hundred. Sounds about right. I mean, if they're gonna take this long, there's their military right there. It's not gonna matter. We're gonna win by war target before this matters. <clears throat> My Weaver Hamirios updates me on his progress. Uh, droning on about the limits of thread. Why does this give us stress? Why? 
Apparently that stresses out Petros as well. Now he knows what he's doing. What is with you, man? <clears throat> Do I yet know who someone's playing against my courtier? Ook. And some of these have decent success chances, to be honest. I arrived in Constantinople to pay homage. A submission alone. Yes. Serve me well, Despotus Epiphania. 256 for now a month. Why not? What she just gave us isn't even a month's worth of renown. But we will take every bit we can get. Did Uke actually get done? He died in his sleep. That's suspicious. That's really suspicious. That's really suspicious. Thanks for the fox hide, I guess. Can I decline? Let's see what happens if, it, if we decline. Let's see what happens. Looks like not too much happens, actually. Nice. So we can turn those down. Good to know. We still have too many duchies. But I, I'm still building Alexandria up, so you're gonna have to hold on. Actually, we're just gonna have to deal with having too many duchies the whole game, probably. Is what it is. they have any military left? Didn't they just lose it? They have 400 men. Oh, yay, yay. Here, this is an ally, right? So if we fight them, it counts? Let's try that. Okay, nothing. Angara now speaks Greek. The whole world will speak our language soon. Mary Maria? My daughter, another daughter! Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trying to think of other commenters that are clearly women, and I don't know of one, I don't think. I mean, Meow, you might be a chick, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I'll try it. Maybe, maybe you are, and if you're not, I apologize. But Princess Meow, isn't that fun? Of the Roman Empire, absolutely. Welcome to the playthrough. Go get him, guys. Let's end this war at long last. Inspiration, creative freedom. This is ridiculous, Dionysia pr protests. As the keeper of the Basilius' personal collection, I have responsibility to ensure the quality of your work. Um, 66% of a higher quality. Go for it. We'll see. It wasn't going to be that amazing in the first place. Ah, oh, lower quality, 33%. Unlucky. Like I said, though, it wasn't going to be that amazing in the first place, so it is what it is. There it is. So be it. Okay, another kingdom done. The Caspian Steps. This is a very, very, very tiny kingdom. Count Boozer of Etil. Interesting. Looks like they're already gonna, they're already gonna have a vassal built in. Um, could have Caucasus take over for a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. And then it'll get split two ways when he passes on. We'll do that. Looks good to me. <clears throat> now, Kipchak looks pretty ready to go. So we can go take Kipchak. Should be all good there. Holy War for Kingdom. Give us that. County and Yingiz County. There you go, that's Kipchak. We got to work our way into this one. The capital's way over there. Enemy Holy Order called in. Go for it, go for it. 
I just gotta make sure that there's trebuchets, at least some trebuchets in both army here, before we let this loose. We're gonna, we're getting pretty close to 200,000 gold soon. Syria now speaks Greek. Welcome, Syria. There, Matthias. Oh, this world knows. I, I almost like have a head cannon of the Mongolians over here. They are like, they see the oncoming horde of the Roman Empire. And they're looking for a hero to save them from joining the Roman Empire. Someone to rise above. And that will be the Great Khan. And <laughs> that would be really cool for a big final battle there. Okay, yeah, they both have trebuchets. It'll work. Um, Kyriak can lead one, and I'll lead the other. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, can we hold a feast? We can't hold a feast. Just kidding, I'm not, le I'm not leading the other one. Time to host a feast! We need some stress relief, please. And I know sometimes it does the opposite of that. We're gonna hope that this time it goes better. Wow, it is really cheap to host a feast. Um, The ill-tempered. Yikes. Constantine of Syria is young and new to ruling. Let's honor her for stepping up to the plate. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Hmm. That music's pretty good. I dig it. I mean, we've heard this song before, but I don't know. The music's kind of good. What has Targild done? They've taken they've taken a county? What? Baron Xenon, Mayor Eustathios, Mayor Margarita. Oh no, not a question of loyalty. My wife Basilis of Tazlate is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange, and I cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. Hard to believe she would ever betray me like this, but could it be I'm not the father? 66% we find out discreetly. I gotta know. Petros is too paranoid. Gotta, gotta play the character. Petros would not trust her at all. He's gonna be paranoid as hell. I know there was no stress loss, stress gain, but that fit the character for sure. You must understand, I never want to hurt you. Tears are streaming down Basilisk of Tazdate's face. After a drawn-out silence, she finally admits it. Despot Sergios is the true father of my child. Sir. An act of tyranny? How? Everyone will know of your infidelity. The world learns of the child's true lineage. Now can I imprison you, justly? Yes, I can. Slept with my spouse. Jail. J jail. Slept with my spouse. <clears throat> the only reason I'm still married to you right now is just to make sure the imprisonment goes well. You just passed up being the second most, pers most powerful person in the Empire. You're staying in there. Bye. 50 renown? Okay. Bye. Nope. Definitely for sure. Don't put up with that. Everybody's better than that. Some of all skills. A new wife. We don't have to worry about these traits. Um, just how good they are. And Athanasia's looking really good. Little cynical, sadistic, and ambitious. But ambitious actually plays into her wanting to be... You know, assist us ruling an empire. So, I dig that. Let's go with Athanasia. There is almost no chance of a kid... So the inbreeding doesn't matter. Yeah, send the proposal. And I didn't want to take one of the young girls, obviously. That would be weird. Alright, let's get our new wife, Basilissa Anastasia, ready to go. Yeah, get that chick out of here. Nobody has to take infidelity. Especially the emperor of, it in, of what will soon be the whole world. No shot. Okay. Um. Yeah, she looked fine the way she was, I guess. Apply the changes. Alright. Basilisa Athanasia. 
You are our new wife. And now we actually have someone that'll help us assist. Will actually assist us in ruling. So this actually worked out really well. We got a comment last time about, have we figured out why the spouse wasn't helping us? Uh, we knew why the spouse wasn't helping us. I said it when we first started taking over Petros. That um, when the spouse owns land, see how she's unlanded, so she's helping us. The other spouse owned a county, so she was busy ruling her county and didn't have time to help us rule our stuff. So you always want your spouse to be unlanded. That way she'll help you out. Or he, if you're playing a chick. Mayor Demetra. Yeah. That's the only correct course of action for infidelity, by the way. Immediately punish those involved and move on. Oh, we about to do some battle right here? My daughter-in-law, Eliodora, has given birth to another daughter. Lots of daughters. Mm. Let's name her after the late Megara. Megara strong and wise. Megara Argia Rout. Yashidi is no longer your master of the horse. Rip. Oh, we, we also lost our Seneschal earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I should have kept up with that. Athanasia, our wife, would be a great master of the horse. Perfect. And then Seneschal... Bartholomeos is young and talented. Let's go with that. <clears throat> yeah, the rest of that looks good. Near Eustathia. Yeah, I'll wait right here for you. Come on in. Let's do this. Battle time. Absolutely, 100%. Kyriak is waiting for you. Kyriak of Norway, ready to take it on. Disruptions by Zeus Man, leave me alone. A peaceful atmosphere is shattered by Hemerios yelling as he storms into the courtyard. Gabriel quickly follows, but stops when he sees me. My liege, please talk some sense into Hymerios. I'm trying to help him since I have some experience that may improve his work. Last time this didn't go so well. <laughs> Hear him out and watch it get even worse. Hey, it did get slightly better after already getting worse, so maybe that'll counteract it a little bit. Only plus eight advantage, really? Would you look at that? They have a great leader here. All right. They're still doomed. Yeah. Mayor Maya. 16 to 5,000, basically. Yeah. That's that's tough for you guys. I'm not going to lie. That's a tough pill to swallow. This war is over, then. One more siege, and this one's done. <clears throat> this war is obviously about to be over. It's a single county. Duchess Antonia made... Antonia made a branch of a branch of a branch. This is the first branch of a branch of a branch I've ever seen. All right, let's see what you made. Hellenic Tapestry. Oh! Plus 2% monthly renown. That's not bad. This is lovely. Well done, Hymerios Pentenaris. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and hand that off to somebody. Well done. I'm impressed. Hellenic Tapestry, huh? That 2% Renown is going to be nice. I'm going to go to the bottom. And assume it's near here. Why is it, why is it placed randomly? Why? <laughs> Who decided this? Why are you like this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of artifacts. Something I definitely want to do in our next playthrough is keep on, tra keep on top of our artifacts from the get-go. I also think, after talking with some um, commenters and subscribers on the channel and stuff, this might be our last world domination playthrough, at least for a while. And maybe have like a different goal for future playthroughs. Um, because once you get far enough, winning the rest of your wars isn't very hard. Are you kidding me? This is going to take as long as possible, isn't it? Um, the only hope we have for a challenge left is if we get the Mongolian Empire to arrive before we already take over that territory. This is insane. This this couldn't have been worse placed. Okay. Mary and Damianos. Good. Except, except... 
Alright, they can start heading over to this. Enforce demands. So be it. This won't actually happen because we'll finish the war before then, I think. We'll see. Maybe not. Let's go here first. A dependent independence faction? Wow. We'll tell you what, I've got plenty of these. That's a purple artifact. What do you think? Maybe that's enough. We'll see. Another martial perk. Hit and run. No. Parthian tactics. Heavy, heavy cavalry, toughness, and pursuit. Yeah. Yes. And then we need engineer for destruction for our siege weapons. Petros, if he lives long enough, is going to have every single martial perk in the game. He's just going to max it out. 100%. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have to wait for this siege. It's taking longer than I thought it would. It's still taking a whole other month. Wow. Just join it together then at that rate. There, Rodrigo. Alright, accept. Enforce demands. Thanks for your kingdom. We appreciate it. May your years be short and miserable. Uh, not likely. Not likely. Go ahead and make this kingdom kip chack while they're moving around here. Very good. Mayor Isakios. Look at these territories. And I bet this isn't even that many counties. Uh, just kidding. 44 counties. Wow. Yavdi is actually like a whole kingdom. Look at that. Most of these kingdoms have been pretty small, just with really big counties. Uh, Yavdi apparently is both big counties and actually just a big kingdom. Three beans with. We're at 191,000. And that's a wrap. Another kingdom for the Empire. Thank you, thank you. Peace be with you. He wasn't too upset about it. Or if he was, he didn't display it. Bork soul? No. Sorry, I gotta give it to somebody else. Wait, he's Hellenic? He is! Wow, okay. He's a terrible person and inbred, but he's the right faith, so good for him. Alright, I think we need a new ruler. Kimmich is actually still pretty small. Yeah, we can hand that off. The Despotate of Kipchak. Enjoy that. Now it's 43 counties. It's starting to get there for real. We could take Bashkiri Bashkiria. Could be our next target here. And can we target Bugerslan? Oh my god, wait. We can't for... Oh, that feast is almost ready. So we won't have to wait that long. India's still a mess. Hoping that they'll figure that out at some point. Baroness Agni of Tiger. Welcome, friends, to the feast. In the middle of celebrations, I'm more intrigued by the defensibility of this hall. Should an attack be launched from the outside right at this moment, the lower nobility would be the ones in immediate danger. Beyond that, a small bastion could be made from the great tables, offering a modicum of protection. Now, how would we have to stage a counterattack? What if the attack were to come from the inside? <laughs> Better safe than sorry for five years. Ten defender advantage. Wow. This character likes to assess the situation and make sure they are prepared for all eventualities. All eventualities. Hostile skin resistance plus 22. It would be foolish to think that every guest here would be your comrade in arms. You understand the martial, martial lifestyle better than that. Okay. And 100 martial lifestyle experience? Sure. Thanks. Interesting. Very interesting. Is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Oh my god, yes. Please. Give us that pure stress relief. I think my favorite thing about the banquets has to be the food. No, the people. Actually, perhaps the drinks. Or the entertainment. Or sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. Give us that full-on stress relief. Thank goodness did we need that. A six vassal limit court artifact book. Let's repair this just in case we use it one day. We've got the money to do a just in case repair. 
I think our Vassal Limit is good at this point. And if we do need more than 134 Vassal Limit, it's not going to be my much, I don't think. Wow, that's actually a decent sword. Okay. Caught up. We're good. Solace and Script. The latest work of my uncle, Desperate Ricardos, has become all the rage at, of court at, blah, 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 at court of late. Okay. The piece deals with feelings of sorrow and loss, and Ricardos has publicly dedicated it to me. Um, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thank you. Dang, even more stress relief there. We didn't even need that one. Yeah, you can get rid of that artifact for sure. I didn't need it anyway. <clears throat> what right does Despotism Pavlina think she has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas will break down the moment combat has met, what does she know really? I'd love a chance to settle this on the battlefield. Discussions on strategy for five years again? We keep getting this one and I love it. Got another hundred martial lifestyle experience. We'll take it. For sure. Absolutely. Feast dwindling down, I find myself deep in conversation with my relaxed vassal, Dukes Luca. It's a subject that fascinates me as well, Dukes Luca. Court politics. Fun stuff. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. As Despotissa Sergius' eyes widen at my words, I realize what I just admitted to. I struggle to push my tanker away. I've had too much. I try to get blah, blah, blah. Don't trust the word I say. She learns of my non-believer secret. Oh. We don't believe? Really? Oh, no. I didn't realize we were like that. That's sacrilegious! The feast is starting to draw to a close, and my visitors are surely expecting me to lavish a little attention on Despotissa Constantine, our esteemed guest of honor. Yeah, this he is the opposite of Megara, isn't he? <laughs> not all over and on top of everything. He's not a commanding leader like Megara was, and he's not even ze He's not just not even zealous. He's actually a non-believer. Craziness. No, I don't do alliances. Only alliances I do are the ones I have to do. Faction created again. Darfur speaks Greek. Good. Another end of Oh, wow. Jarka actually really doesn't like us, to be fair. Negative 21 is pretty bad. Um. Oh, the, the last feast message keeps going away. That's such a bummer. Hopefully I'm not missing anything when that happens. Okay, so let's actually do Permia and Mordvinia in one swoop here. We can declare these wars, right? No, never mind. We can't do that yet. Just kidding. Tashkiria it is. We'll take Boogerslan. Uh, gross language. Uh, uh, gross name, by the way. Boogerslan. Is that right? Am I saying that right? I don't think I'm saying that right. Buggerslan. I'm going to say Buggerslan because that's just better than Boogerslan. And... Knock that out real quick. And then we're going to take the rest of this. Alright. Give us our everything. Conquer Duchy. Oh! That's a single county I can't take. That's fine. No, Holy War for Kingdom. Yeah, the Bashkiria portion. Permia would be better, but the Bashkiria portion is what we're actually going to go for. So, we'll get Permia in five years when... There's no longer a problem with that. Yeah, that'll work. And you know what? We could throw that in, but we won't. We got some wars to win. You go that way, you go this way. Mayor Hypatios. Mayor Debrawa. Might have to disband this if they take too long. There we go. Military schools in Alexandria. That's a nice night effectiveness bonus. Now, officer academies, please. Sergeants put through the academy will have a greater understanding of the battlefield, or at least, at the very least, know how to properly grovel before their superiors. That's not a good thing. Oh, we're right there. We're right there. 500% night effectiveness. That'd be so insane. That'd be so crazy. I would love it. Would love it. Alright, looks like they're going to let us gather. How generous of them. 
Mayor Lazaros. Salavat's under siege. Mayor Igedia, sure. Make it happen. I actually have a um, family vacation coming up in a little under a week, and so I'm not going to be able to record during that time. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to be able to get enough time together to make, like, several short episodes for the days I'm gone, or not. We'll have to see, I guess. Six, three thousand. Let me know if you guys would rather, um, I just start spreading out episodes every other day for the next couple of weeks because of my family vacation. Or if you would rather, and I'll say this at the beginning of the next episode too, I guess, because this is pretty deep in an episode to bring this up. Or would you rather I try to record some short episodes for the days I'll be gone ahead of time? Let me know what you would prefer. And I'll probably do whatever you guys prefer. Baron Belidios. Mayor Anthe. By the Bacchus have you no shame. More cheating! Guys! Stop it! That's still a sore point for Petros right here. Man just got cheated on recently. Nice graceful aging. We love Marshall. Mm. Mayor Julian. That's one war. Wars are such small things now for our family. Because we've been in so many. It's just another war. Whereas for these, <laughs> for these like, nations, civilizations that we're attacking, this is like a major moment in their history. And for us, it's just, yeah, yeah, another war. That's what it means when you're this powerful, I suppose. 1922 realm size, by the way. Someone's plotting to kill my prisoner, Ilke. They can go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's heartless, but uh, that's not going to affect us that much. And I don't think... I What I'm getting from Petros is he does not care. See, Megaro, we were a good person. We had to do the right thing. Um, Petros is just. But... I would not say he's a good person. I would argue that. Are we fighting this? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Let's just go straight... Uh, let's just go straight there. Mayor Apollonia. Actually, it's not even worth splitting up anymore. We're going to be basically in the same spot both ways, so... Let's just speed up the siege by joining together. King Kaya is one against Samson. Uh, for the county of Ural Tau. Oh, nice! Permia just took more territory. We love that. Good job, guys. Dang, our, our marshal kind of took off, didn't it? 56 all of a sudden. That's because we have a spouse that actually assists us now. That's right. She's giving us six more on top. Just by being our wife. That's great. Alright, there's that war. So be it. On to the next. We can't go there without penalty, so we're gonna go here first. <clears throat> oh, we still have like... 20 more minutes in this episode. I think we might hit 200,000 gold today. 200k. That's an amount we will never spend. Ever. It's never gonna happen. But here we go. A dynasty legacy. Mostly fair. Popular opinion plus 5 and hunt and feast cost down. Sure. Total creation cost down and control growth. Sure. These are fine. They're fine. Why not? I'd love to get every dynasty legacy. Just so I can say I've done it once. Because I've never done that. Also, what I've never done is got... I don't think I've ever done all three trees in a lifestyle before. So I'm also excited to see if we can pull that off with Petros, because that would actually be something new. That did not count towards war score. That is a bummer. Capitals will play over there. That is a bummer. Maybe we can get a battle. That would help our war score out quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. That's like 10,000 soldiers between the two of them. Got a decent little army right there. The amount of heavy cavalry we have, plus how powerful our knights are, plus our knight effectiveness, there's just... The AI has no answer for that. We could take on an army of 50,000, and we'd still win. Now, 100,000? <laughs> I don't know about that, but... Siege weapon effectiveness up 40%. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. And living off the land will be good, too. 
get that travel speed. All right, let's keep working our way towards the capital. If they're not going to stop us. Another faction disbanded. Okay, so. Jarka hates us. Because she's the wrong faith. That'd do it. She also doesn't like a lot of things about us, to be fair. We still have minus seven from being a tyrant from taking that duchy earlier. There's not much about us she likes, to be honest. Let's start swing. You guys love me. Just giving you a heads up about that. <laughs> Just hand them money and tell them that they love you. <laughs> Diplomacy 101. It's how it's done. Mayor Lucas, thank you. Someone's plotting to kill me! Really? I mean, there's basically no shot. We're too paranoid and too good at intrigue. Our spy master's too good, all that. No way they pull it off. Do they still go for it? Do they still try? Not even sure. Let's put this in half. Go kill them. Baron Pamphilios. Mayor Nicoletta. Um, she's offered to provide me with everything she knows, including... Okay, she has discovered the continued legitimacy of my lineage is at risk. Is it cost money or a hooey cook? I don't give... I don't give hooey cooks away. Sorry. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing. I will buy your secrets. I will not give you hooks for secrets. Absolutely no shots. 9 to 4,500 helped out, I'm sure. Nice. 31% war score is good. That's good. That's really good. Mayor Maximus. Wow, that one. That siege was fast. We crushed that one. Okay, right here. Your acquaintance Isaiah dies. Bye. Guillemette's trying to do another feast, huh? She loves these feasts, doesn't she? I'm sorry, I have to turn down your invitation. I really am sorry. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not for our paranoid guy. Reinhold is our only excellent caravan master, so we'll do that. Do we have a court poet? We could have a court poet. Oh. Poor health and poor health. We'll go with poor health number one, I guess. They're both pretty old. Yeah, neither of them are worth war score, so we just go on. Bearing the hatch. High Priest Petros. We have had our differences in the past, but don't you agree that it's time to let bygones be bygones? My rival and vassal, Despot in Akentios, uh, gestures from me to him. Yes, let's. Training a war horse. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away from all others. He throws his head and stomps his hooves, displaying his powerful hindquarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I've never seen such a warhorse before, but the stable master insists he's impossible to train. <clears throat> you say that, but Petros, Petros is the hammer. A hefty price. I'm not one to back away from a challenge. Oh yeah, let's go Petros. Show him how it's done. Baron Pelicarpos. The horse pins his ears back as I approach, his disregard for me crystal clear. The first meeting is important to earn his trust and respect, and he decide how to go about it. A steady hand is required to tame this beast. Uh, likely to work well with high prowess skill or a bold personality. Not a bold personality, but high prowess. If I'm gentle, move slowly, he'll trust me. Diplomacy, no. Intrigue, no. A steady hand is required to tame this beast. 75 prowess. Tell me that's not enough. It is a mighty feeling. The powerful horse follows my every whim. Now that I have earned his trust, he seems almost fond of me. I'll keep him as a personal war horse. You gain war horse for another prowess and some prestige and a martial lifestyle perk. Absolutely. Give us that perk. Living off the land for the... Oh, never mind. That's not travel speed. It's still the better option. Get that supply capacity, I guess. The other two don't fool us anything. 
Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command, I, mu I muse upon what to call him. Mythology. Another theme for the name? No. We already did Boreas. Boreas. Let's do Xanthos this time. Whoa, what just happened? Are you... Are you kidding me? The leader of Permia died and it split? Okay, let's go take the kingdom of Bashkiria. That's awkward. <laughs> That's awkward. That's alright. That's alright. They kept our battle score in the one county we did have. Let's go hit the capital. The province of Syria, Palestina. The whole of the ancient province of Syria, Palestina has finally been liberated from the vile clutches of barbarians and restored to the Imperium Romanum. A great triumph will be held for the brave heroes who accomplished this feat. May their names echo in eternity. Long live the Empire. Yeah, we became a living legend a while ago. My bad, I must have missed that moment, but... Her friendship. While her numerous attempts to curry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I kind of help but feel irritated by Beatrix's sudden interest in me. Leave me alone. Mare Musa. Baroness Chrysogeny. They ran away! But why? Wow, they have 200 soldiers. That's tough. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, now that I've... Now that it's been split, maybe I can declare war on these guys and it doesn't count as a truce because they got split apart. That would be the ideal. Th that would make sense, actually. Capture the sun and air. We got the capital. We got the whole nine yards. Enforce demands. You're a greater foe than I imagined. This man literally took over and instantly lost his land. That's bad timing. There's nothing else I can say about that. That's bad timing. Alexeia, I need you to take a little more land for me. Thank you. And then I need to stop giving her land, because she has 51 counties now, which is plenty. <clears throat> okay. Now I can declare war on this. Still a truce with colon. War. 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 And war. Okay. We choose violence. <laughs> it is our way. The way of the Roman Empire. Colon is only a single county anyway. It looks big, but it's only a single county. Just like this one. So it's okay if we don't get that. I suppose it's time we made our move. It's time we take all these lands here. Gonna have to do a holy war for kingdom, really? Wow. And then Dulo. Is that a county or a duchy? Conquer the county. Glaz is a county, I'm sure. Yep. Ufon. County? This guy's a giant. Look at the size of that man. And then Permia wants your kingdom, too. And then I want this. Thank you much. That'll be a nice... That'll be a nice se sequence of wars here. That'll be really good. Is that going to cost us any deaths? It would. Damn. It's a bummer. Oh, what happened? My mom died from drinking herself to death and that got us all that stress to the point we went overboard yikes last one then I want to be alone okay by the Moirai petitioners from the realm have been queuing up lately this work feels endless yet another one steps forward evidently a distressed merchant of some kind if you have come for justice know that I do not overrule my judges just for petty coin the merchant goffs at me blinking rapidly in shock was it something I said last one that I want to be alone you lose 50 stress. It's available because we're reclusive. That's fine. Drunkard would be a drinking binge. And that's a moderate health penalty, which is terrible. And only 25 stress. Reclusive, apparently, pretty good for stress relief. I want to be alone. Give me a break. Poor Petros. We have a jester, right? Yeah, we do. He just hasn't been helping us. He is an excellent court jester, I guess. 
I'm not seeing that, but apparently. Oh, more more territory here. There you go. A scheme at court. Someone. Okay, is someone still plotting against me? There's still a murder us plot out there. Wow. If that 5% does hit, we should have that legacy perk that kicks in, right? You would think? I'm, I'm a little worried that they're still trying, despite there only being a 20% secrecy and 5% success chance. You'd think they'd give it up at that point. Oh, nice. We'll be gathered by then. That works. <laughs> this guy's like, wait a minute. Now that they're gathered, I'm not liking that so much. Ooh, we caught him, really? That could be the war if we capture their leader. Must stop the villain behind the Isidoro's plan. 53%. Yeah, wow. That was quick. So be it. <laughs> On to the next, then. Forward march. God, that's far away. That's four months away. We signed up for a big one, didn't we? Blackmail. To the percent of Petros, my regrets that it has come to this. I have evidence of your doubt about Zeus. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. On decline, she exposes our non-believer secret. I decline. You gain the trait cynical. By telling everyone of my thoughts about Zeus, my vassal Captain Eusebi has convinced the Flamins that I am non-believer and the traitor to the Thunderer. What is so wrong about thinking for myself? We lose a level of devotion. Gain the trait cynical. Gain non believer for 10 years. Religious vassal opinion minus 20. That is tough. That's alright. We'll be a religious icon again in no time. Don't you worry about it. That is a tough hit, though. I won't lie. That's a dick move she just did. Your sinful axe coming to cost. Yep. I don't know what he's indulging. I don't know what they're indulging anymore. It's doing that bug that will fix itself next time we load in. 8 to 3300. But uh, now everybody knows that we are the opposite of Megara. We are not zealous. We are, in fact, the other thing. We are cynical. Not great, to be honest. Not great. Some people are dying in our dungeons. That does tend to happen when we just neglect our dungeons. If you were a part of the Roman Empire, you wouldn't have to be in there. Just saying. No, 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 and no. Good, good, good. Someone's going after Baranguela now. That's a new one. I haven't seen anybody going after our cupbearer yet. Trying to get her out of the murder plot or something? Jarka! Oh, 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 scheming against me, huh? Exposed, huh? You are so lucky we're just and we can't afford to do that. Oh, you bitch. Mm -mm -mm. She'll never accept any of that. 5% murder odds are, like, non-existent just about. And if it happens... Nana gets everything. So that'll be fine too. But still. Petros, don't you get murdered now. But she's just an agent. She's not the one who actually launched the murder plot. She's just all aboard the train. Yeah. Fuck. Alright, alright. Let's swear. Let's show her that she's wrong to think that way. And then she... Oh, this is Enia, the brilliant. Created the cadet branch. Arjiad Kapan. How many people do we have now? 3,456 living members. Alright. We are uh, out there. Many Arjiads in this world. That is for sure. All right, wipe those two groups out. Perfect. 4 to 1267 and 3 to 848. Couple of sieges and then these wars will be done. 
And then we can move on to Permia proper. Shoot. I lost track of time. No, we're still good. We got a couple minutes. I didn't want to stop yet. Enforce. And then you guys can start getting into Permia here. Oh, my bad. You haven't finished that. You guys can go into Permia here. Hit the capital right away. Nice. Ah, we'll go grab the other one first. Why not? Our court poet died. Yeah, we saw that one coming. He was old. Should have went with the other one that's also going to die soon. Another royal architect. Not going to put the excellent chick who hates us in there. Let's put the good guy who likes us in there. No reason to provide easy agents for the, my murder. People trying to murder me. Thank you. So be it. Get in there. Jolita went from Andalusian to Hellenic. Welcome. It's the true culture, I'm telling you. It's the good one. It is the good one. Hey, they're going back to defend their lands. And they'll probably get there in time, too. And we are over 200,000 gold, by the way. It did come true. Jarka was swayed, which puts her at negative 91. Oh, boy. Huge. Alright. We'll finish up up here. Hit this capital. And I feel like that'll be a, a good spot to call it here. Is there no bridge here? I mean, there's one right there, I guess. Alexeia! I can't open this. From Hellenic to Ga. Ugh. No, Songhai, no! Bad. <laughs> Very bad. Alright, and then this Permia War is going to take a bit. Let's hit the capital and see if that ends it, and if not, then we'll finish it next time. Try to be a good Hellenist. Yeah, with money. The Truperid... The Truperid... I don't know how to say this one. The Truperid Kingdom. Despot Trifon is buying his Macurdia Barth Bartholomeos. Oh, the Telugu people! They switched to Greek! Oh no, I'm sorry! I think the last holdouts of Telugu are, are leaving the language for Greek. Oh no. Oh no. Rest in peace, Telugu language soon? That's tough. Dukes Alexander created the Cadet Branch Argiad Iresos. Cadet, it's a branch of the main house, okay. So, show Epiphania in. Thank you for the 50 gold. I accept your generous donation. Yeah, the capital didn't do it. Alright, we'll pick up here next time. <clears throat> okay, we're up to 1,938 counties. 2,000 counties. Mark is coming in very soon. Look how little is left. India... And then everything be everything north of India, basically. India and everything north of India. That's basically what's left. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining High Priest Petros and myself on this journey with the Argiad Dynasty. And we will see all of you next time.